It's Spoon for Dotty, day 14. I'm off to meet Kat at an antiques fair. She makes jewellery out of spoons and then we'll be going back to her workshop and she's going to show me how to make something. So... This is my spoon goodie box. Um, in here I have a 1920s coffee bean spoon. The coffee bean would be made out of hard wood and it screws on and off. So when I make a piece of jewellery I take it off and then I can screw it back on again. So it stays the same. I've got a, a seal end teaspoon, little tiny coffee spoon. A lovely, very decorative spoon from America made by Gorham Sterling. Um, and a couple of regular teaspoons. Somewhere in here I have a teeny bit of little tiny weeny salt spoon. Sterling silver. And various other styles of teaspoons, which will be made into rings at some point. So we're going to start today with a teaspoon and make a ring for Miss Jo. <laughs> so first of all, we need to find out what size Miss Jo's finger is. <laughs> so, we're going to mark her R and a half finger on the mandrel, which is this long pointy thing right here. Silver is made of molecules, and there are lots of little tight molecules all together. And when you heat it they separate out a little bit, which makes it malleable and you can manoeuvre the silver. So hammering it makes it hard again and it just, it's just a process of hot cold. So I'm heating it up. And here now, the hide mallet. We're going to beat the spoon. Right. We're now going to make it into a ring. Okay. Ooh, liking that. And there you have a spoon ring. So we have here a jam spoon. Very pretty. You can't really see. There you go. Lots of stuff on there. We're going to make a pendant and a key ring. Okay. So it, and it's really, really simple. I'm just going to saw it in half and drill two holes. Right, we have a set of sugar tongs here, which we're going to turn into a pair of earrings for Miss Jo May. Take your saw, okay. and you're going to use your saw to saw across the earrings. Miss Jo picks up the saw. Okay. Nice and gentle. Okay. Does it matter what angle it's at? No, it's better if you do it um, six o'clock. That's it. <laughs> so use the yes. whole blade to so do longer. Oh, okay. There you go. Just keep sawing. Just keep sawing. Oh, and she's still sawing. <laughs> take all the time you like. <laughs> How long does it take you to saw through one of these? A couple of seconds. Really? Yeah. She saws through the tongs with the greatest of ease. <laughs> <laughs> right, so Done. now you pick up Done. your little head mm -hmm. and the file, which is in front of you. Oh, yes. Okay. And you want to file the edges so that they're nice and smooth. Okay. I usually have a little production line going, so I'll have, you know, several. And then I'll just sit and file them all at the same time. Okay. 